Alright, what's going on boys? Percy TCG here, and today we have more green reveals. Uh, green is looking pretty strong, honestly, with these these uh, set 2 reveals that are coming out, which I'm really excited for. Uh, I can't wait till green actually drops and we see some gameplay with it. But without further ado, let's get right into it. First we have Queen Ant Rain. So, when summoned, summon 2 of your Ant-Man tokens. So just one place you get two more bodies which ah uh, damn considering that these don't have uh summoning sickness uh, it's pretty pretty scary but we'll we'll see we'll see when step two comes out so uh level two during your attack step when your spirits is destroyed so like when your opponent's spirits and exhaust it which it's a good effect um for being a nine cost, I could see this being on like a, a six cost maybe, but I feel like they probably could have gave her a better skill, but that's okay. It's still a good card regardless of when summon you get two more bodies. It's still a good card regardless. So, um, next we have Armor Tree Deity Heraclitus. So during either attack step, all Insectoid and Carapite spirit cards in your hand gain swift which is crazy so everything has swift in the uh insectoid deck it's basically the bug deck i love this art though I, i'm just a huge fan of like the the tree art type stuff which i really like um i'm not a fan of bugs though so um and then uh level three when the spirit attacks place one core from the void into your reserve Man, you just farm in cores with this guy. That's this guy's gonna be really good. This guy seven costs reduced by three. All your insectoid and carapite get swift, and then you ramp a core when you when you attack. Like hey, that that card's so good. Next we have Daimyo Beast Yaiba no Kami. Uh, during opponent's attack step. At the start of the steps, like one of your spirits with higher BP than your opponent's highest BP spirit, place a core from the void onto it. So, if you have a larger spirit than your opponent, you'll get an extra core on your opponent's attack step. It's alright. It's alright. It's If you're playing something like red or white, this is easy to play around. But if you're playing something like... Uh, purple or yellow it's 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 a little more of a struggle for you because your your base bp on all your cards is not very high so uh, i could see that being good against yellow purple um and then level two and three treat the level one bp as four thousand for all your spirits that cost three or fewer honestly i i'm not mad about that effect that affects that effect's pretty solid. Makes it to where uh, they're out of the angelic pressure, burning force range, um, the exhaust nexuses, things like that, you know. So, I feel like that's a pretty good effect. That's that's really good. So, moving on. We have Horned Fortress Elasmoth. Elasmoth. I don't know. When someone's like one of your spirits against 3 kbp during this turn. For an 8 cost, that's very underwhelming. And it's only when summoned. Uh, and then when the spirit attacks, like one of your opponent's spirits for each of your other spirits with 4,000 or more VP and exhaust them. Which I mean... Uh, I, I, I don't know what to make of this card. I don't know. This card could be pretty decent. But at the same time, this card also could just be Copium. It's an 8 cost reduced by 3. 3 cores for level 2. I'm going to go out on limb and say this card's not as good as on paper. Simply just because in green, like... Basically, you're not having 4k BP on most of your spirits, right? 
Like, you, you'll probably... Oh, well, it's only one he attacks. But if you were to flash and only place something down with one core on it... Um, this effect isn't very, uh, profitable, I should say. Um, then we have Mushrantula. When summoned, if you spend a soul core as part of this spirit's summoning cost, your opponent selects a card from their hand and discards it. I don't think that's bad. Um, for a three cost, can be reduced by one. It's it's giving you advantage. It's a two two k BP at level one, which is, eh, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Just uh, green doesn't use the soul core too much, so it's it it seems like it's all right. It seems like a pretty good card. Uh, and then we have a Heaven's Cloak Butterfly. When summons like when your spirits place a core from the void onto it. Ah, uh, this card, this card is so so damn good. Three cores for five kbp. You're out of burning force range. When summon, you get a core. I like this card. I think this card will be teched in in some decks that want the ramp. But other than that, I mean, it's obviously good in green already. Just ramping an extra core. Comboed with, like, your other stuff that gives you cores, it just makes it so stupid good. So, uh, next card, we have Ant-Man General. When summoned, summon one of your Ant-Man tokens. This card's gotta be busted. It's a three cost that gives you an extra body. So it can be reduced to one. And just gives you another body. Damn, man. Oh, but you summoned exhausted. I didn't read that part. So, eh, but at the same time, it's an extra reduction symbol. I still personally think it's good. If you were to open him turn one, and then you get an extra body. Well, let's, let's think. Well, you'd have to go second if you did that, right? Because you pay the three cores. You place a core onto him to keep him on, and then... Uh, summon the, the token to keep the second one exhausted. Yeah, so you'd, you'd have to go second if you wanted to open up him and get his one summoned off. But I I still think he's a good tempo card. Uh, so the next we have Worker Ant-Man. Plays a core from the Void in your reserve. The spirit has a soul core on it when it attacks. That's... Man. And it's a when the spirit attacks... Don't underestimate this card, guys. These low-cost, low-to-the-ground cards are really, really good. Um, next, we have Emerald Pincer. Select one of your opponent's spirits and exhaust it. I also think this is a, a very good card. Catches your opponent with his pants down. He's not expecting to have his spirit exhausted. He's like, okay, well, I have a blocker. I have three blockers, da-da-da. Come down with an Emerald Pincer. Exhaust it. If they don't have a suppression or something like that, it's it's it it hurts. Next we have Onmyoji Kingfisher. Uh basically just a four cost with Swift. His his I can't even say he's a stat stick, because five cores for six K BP, what what are they on? I mean if you have no other option and you only have this, it's not terrible, but you'll you'll more than likely have other options. Uh, loyal retainer as a wolf. So we have a new keyword here called Gale. When the spirit is blocked, your opponent selects the, spe the specified number of refreshed spirits they control and exhaust them. Which that is a strong keyword, by the way. Very, very strong keyword. Basically, you you have to exhaust two. And block. Pretty pretty good. I mean, it's it's good to see that it's not something they're gonna come right out the gate and make something make it broken. You know what I mean? Which I mean, I respect it. It's it's gonna be something to watch out for the future, but um, I respect it. Uh, and then we have Emra Ant Man. When destroyed by opponent, place a core from the void into your reserve. See, I didn't realize this guy was uh when destroyed by opponent, so I was like, shit, you could you could honestly tech that guy in uh, purple. 
Deadly balance, target him, get a void, get a draw. To get a void, did I say get a core, get a draw? And then destroy one of their spirits? I mean, that's... That seemed good, but it has to be destroyed by your opponent. So basically, if it gets blocked or uh, its cores are removed, because it's not restricted to a level, or any destruction effects or BP reduction, it would uh, proc. So this card right here, this is kind of what I'm hyped for, the map butterfly. Now, I'm not saying this is like ever going to happen. This is such like an unlikely scenario to happen. But this this card right here literally gives you an OTK. So so if you open four of these butterflies and a regain, you 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 win. Uh you go second, you have those, he doesn't play a spirit on board. Uh you'll have you'll play four of them and then you'll regain and yeah, yeah, you'll do the sauce, you know. So I think that's all that's going to be all of the green spirit reveals. For the rest of uh, the reveals, I'm pretty sure they're going to go into like the magics and nexuses next. Um, how do I feel about green? I feel like it's balanced because a lot of people are looking at the ramp of the deck like, oh, they could just get core after core after core after core. But at the same time, they have no search. They have no draw. You need a lot of cores to level it up. And for Swift to happen, you have to pay a core from the reserve. You can't pay it off of your other spirits to activate the Swift. So I do feel like green is not going to be broken, but I do think it's going to be good. It's going to be able to counter certain colors. What colors that is, I really don't want to make an assumption already. Because I have no idea. I, I don't know how green is going to play into most of these uh, matchups. But it, it does look like it's going to be one of the better decks for sure. But I've been wrong before. Usually bug decks are, are pretty bad in every game. So <laughs> we'll see when it uh, drops. So I uh, hope you guys have a blessed day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.